praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Beloved, so good to see you. So, so good to bring some of the joy of the Lord in your day to day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. <laughs> You'll say, well, I, I have 10 reasons I can give you right right off the top of my mind. I don't have to be rejoicing. <laughs> and I'm saying, I have one reason. He is alive. <laughs> my Jesus. My beloved. Loves me. <laughs> the Father himself loves me. I rejoice, I will rejoice, and I will never stop because of His love. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we started to talk about relationships, and we talked about the first love and the fact that we are fathered. The Father Himself loves us. And um, the next thing I want to bring up is uh, something that uh, he showed me uh, years ago. Um, but you know how he is. He kind of takes you by surprise. Um, it shouldn't be a surprise because he prepares your soul. He prepares your understanding before he dumps the bomb <laughs> to explain and <laughs> do things. But... Um, I was in, uh, in um, uh, probably India, I'm thinking, in the worship, and um, they, were, um, they were singing, it was a long, long time of worship in, um, in Hindi, and um, of course I, I knew I was prepared and just praising the Lord in tongues and um, but you know, after an hour, an hour and a half or so, you're thinking, okay, how long this is gonna be? What is next? Your soul, right, gets in the time and space is a little bit too overwhelming. After a while, even the best missionary hearts. <laughs> so what do we do next? <laughs> what is lunch? <laughs> A friend of mine used to like that, <laughs> challenging people. And um, so then I hear the Lord and said, worship me outside the universe or beyond the universe. And it was such a different idea, such a... Um, beyond natural mind thought. I knew it's him, so I couldn't come up with that. <laughs> so that started a journey with this type of questions. And of course, what came to me afterwards was Ephesians 1. Because somehow, in the spirit we started before the creation happened before genesis 1 <laughs> before yeah let me read to you so this type of relationship i would submit to you it's uh, most important and yes, it's in love. Yes, it's the first love between the Father and the Son. But also it's before this consciousness of the soul, um, of a human soul, that I am here in front of a camera, that I'm talking, I have this age, and I live in that place. There's something that's beyond this consciousness, if you have to describe where you are, what you do, who you are, it, there's something beyond. And of course, sonship is the one that has an eternal 
nature, right? But let me let me take you into the word and let's look together at Ephesians one. Verse three: May the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ be eulogized. Uh, you can start a session of worship right now. It's okay. The one who comfort benefactions, blessings upon us in the sphere, catch this, in the sphere of every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Every spiritual blessing. There is a sphere of every spiritual blessing. Over there, that's where he brought the blessings in Christ. In Christ are all this sphere of every type of blessing. I'm telling you when he says about heavenly, that's something beyond what you're saying. Well, bills paid, checks in the mail, um, health in the body, and all this, which are blessings, but they are so earthly. Now he's talking about every, every spiritual blessing. Hallelujah. Every. How? How he did that? How he brought all this blessings, spiritual blessings? How he put these benefactions, <laughs> you know, blessings upon us in Christ. And he says, even as he selected us out for himself in him, in Christ, before the foundations of the universe were laid to be holy ones without blemish before his searching penetrating gaze in love so now the seven spirits were not created yet the wisdom and understanding they were not there because there was no no plan in um, uh, no plan happening to create the foundations of the world were not um, laid before but he selected us out for him this is a father doing that <laughs> How would you feel to know that you are the selected one of the Father? Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys any won like a big prize, you know, the the Powerball or something. It's like one in millions. Now that's that's how I feel. Extremely special, being selected out for Him. <laughs> in Christ before that's why we can command the kingdom because we were before <laughs> yes it's order the head means it's the beginning the source we were in the head before things started to be created this is the preeminence. This is the priority. This is how things start from. He selected us out for himself. You see your purpose? You see your destiny? You see why you exist? Why you are selected for himself? You know, I... And I, I met lots of you and meeting people that you know they want to do the work of the kingdom they want to 
uh, do ministry, they want to help others, they want to make a difference, they want to do good deeds, and that's all absolutely is the Lord which, who is good. But somehow uh, my heart and my destiny is for himself, for him. You know, like the Levites, one of the tribes, they were all Israel, but one of the tribes says, I don't give you inheritance because the Lord is your inheritance. <laughs> That's all you have, Levites. And I kept looking at that, I kept looking at that. Um, and it's, yeah, yeah, that's cleaving to the Lord. That's the, the word Levi means cleaves, becomes one, becomes one. I'm for him, the Levites. He is my inheritance. And I did meet, you know, some of you. It's like, that's... That's all I, I care about. That's that's heaven for me. It's it's him. <laughs> that's the word. It's him. That's the future. It's him. <laughs> that's the past. It's him. <laughs> you wanna define me? It's him. <laughs> so yes, this is this is where we started in love. And he selected us to be holy ones who thou blemish before his searching, penetrating gaze. That's the purity. If the eyes of the holy and pure God look at what he selected out and he says, perfect, who am I? to listen to anything else and find it less perfect. <laughs> how can I do that? Yes, that's how he sees us. In verse 5, having previously marked us out to be placed as adult sons through the intermediate agency of Jesus Christ for himself, according to what he, which seemed good in his heart's desire. We're still before anything was created, because he talks the previously of the previous, <laughs> previously marked us out to be placed as adult sons. In the Son we were placed as adult sons. Um, yeah, we, we look at the perspective on this earth and we're growing and learning more. But if you start and you understand this relationship of the Spirit, it's already done. You are placed as adult son in Him, in Christ. The one that sees before time and after time is going to be done with. The one, that's, the one that sees through eternity. It's beyond eternal life. He is the creator of all. He placed you as an adult son in Christ. And he's looking and he's looking and he is in love. He loves who you are. He loves who you are. <laughs> Told you I'm irrevocably rejoicing. <laughs> I might shed some tears. I might miss some things and some people. But I'm, my joy is so full. And yours is too. So, this is the heart's desire of our Father. That's what He heart desired. And He got us. <laughs> we are His heart's desire. Did you ever think? Yes, He is your heart's desire. Because He placed His heart's desire inside you. <laughs> we desire each other. 
Yes. And then from, from verse 6, it burst into creation, resulting. This is a big word, resulting. Because this is all that. The times, the bangs, the big, that's creation, the let it be. All that resulting in praise of the glory of His grace, which He freely bestowed upon us in the Beloved. Now He's talking soul. <laughs> now it's creation. It showed up. Right? It showed up. So our relationship with Him before the creation is as you see the creation coming from this relationship. You are not, your relationship is not the result of the creation. You didn't come into, yes, now I know this, now I know I'm a son, now I come to this. No, no, no. The relationship before that is that all of this is a consequence, is a result, resulting. You were before all this started to happen. And now you are coming into this awareness, into consciousness of who you were before. <laughs> yeah, that connection with the before and after, it brings the now of God. Having made known to us the mystery of His will, verse 9, according to what He seemed good to Him, which good thing He purposed in Himself. See, He comes back to before anything was created. With respect to an administration of the completion of the epochs, epochs of time to bring back again to their original state, all things in Christ, the things in heaven and the things on earth, in Him. So we started there. Things are unrolling and happening, resulting. And that's where sin happened and separation and He sent His Son to redeem us back. And then there is a completion of all these epochs of time. You know, the age of ages. Ages are these epochs. There is an age of ages, and when the end of the ages, end of these epochs of time, to bring together into the original purpose. Yes, I do believe we are in this time and season, at the end of the epochs towards the completion of the epochs of time. We are here with a purpose, and this revelation comes so powerful, like never before, since the one Christ, that all this was in Him. Now the seed was planted and comes to the fruit, which is bringing together back to the original state. Yes, we are here with the purpose. So you can hear these words and something to arise inside you and says, Yes, I know I am alive in this time. <laughs> because the time is coming and now is. <laughs> when He will bring all things back in Christ, things of heaven and things on earth. Yes, that's how relationship 
with the Father is beyond the universe because the way your life is it is comprised somehow in epochs of time but you started and you complete beyond the epochs of time and this is what you know that you know that eternity <laughs> that I shall never die. The one that comes to me shall never die. If you eat me and drink my blood, you have life in yourself. Those words are so alive in you right now. And yes, the completion, it's coming because we are waking up. And we, we bring that completion soon.